Hey guys, CS here. How's it going? Welcome to a Let's Play. Yes, I am doing Let's Plays again for some reason. Really no reason at all. Um, I guess I just kind of miss the feeling of putting out um, episodic video content. Um, now, even though I never finished the Let's Plays I previously did, I actually plan on finishing this one because, my friends, this is one of my favorite games of all time. This is Dark Reign, the future of war. It was the first RTS game I ever played, um, released in 1997. Um, and it was pretty much the game responsible for me getting interested in all other RTS titles like Command and Conquer, Age of Empires, Starcraft. Um, so yeah, this was one made by um, Aaron uh, and published by Activision um, in 97. So. Very excited to be starting this Let's Play. Um, looking forward to completing it. So here we go. Into the single player mission. Gonna, now this game had an expansion as well, but we are not doing that right now. We're just going with the original. So. We start with a lovely cinematic. We have an Imperium Cyclone shooting at a spider bike. Tachyon tank destroying a triple rail hover tank. This is a war between the Freedom Guard and the Imperium. Apparently the war has gone on for hundreds of years, I believe. I don't know. Uh, but I always thought this cinematic was so cool as a kid. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be completing a series of, uh, we're going to be experiencing some historic battles between the Freedom Guard and the Imperium. We're going to be reliving them. And they're basically going to be trials. Sir, the orbital defense matrix has been disabled. Good. Deploy the desiccator. So after the Imperium destroyed this orbital defense matrix on Strata 7, uh, which I guess was preventing the entire planet from being annihilated, um, the Imperium deploy this desiccator device, which is like a huge ass death ray. And, um, yeah, well, we'll see. Emergency. Emergency. Evacuate immediately. <laughs> I love this intro. Then there's a guy, this is a guy called Togra. Who escapes in, uh, his, you know, escape capsule, whatever. And before you know it, we're making pancakes. <laughs> I'm sorry, is my commentary annoying? I don't know. <laughs> I figured it's better than being silent and watching this. So we're gonna be, I'm gonna be doing the first two missions um, for both the Imperium and Freedom Guard. Um, so that's what this first episode is going to be. Hundreds of years have passed since the Tograns lost their leader to the war between the Freedom Guard and the Imperium. In the years following the destruction of Strata 7, the Togran civilization has been ravaged. The few survivors have set off in hopes they might find a new refuge to rebuild and carry on the words of the first believer, Togra. Identified object detected. Initiating scans. Scans indicate that the object is a probe of Togrin origin. This probe does not match any known production model. So we, uh, we're out here for some reason and we discovered a probe floating around in space. And it was a probe, that probe launched by Togra. Back right before the destruction of the planet. Believer, it is I, Togra, who speaks to you now in my time of need. I can only hope that the followers still remember, for without you, my fate is sealed. 
I've discovered something wondrous which may secure the fate of our people for all eternity. Only I am trapped here on a world torn by the Imperium Freedom Guard War, and I fear it is not long before I fall victim to the terror which surrounds me. This probe has been programmed to search for believers, should some tragedy occur which would seal my fate. Locked inside is a one-way portal to the past, yet it can be used only once, so you must prove yourself. If you still believe, then accept this challenge and return to save me, for I will bear our people to a new plane of existence. Probe interface established. I'm sorry, I, I've watched this so many times throughout my lifetime that most of it's memorized. <laughs> Accessing probe data stores. Data Sorry if you heard any lip smacking during in the SK system. <laughs> Elapsed time since probe launch estimated at 213 years. Automated file encryption active. Initiating encryption key interface. So before we are able to proceed to the final battle, we must complete a series of trials, which as I said before, they um, are, I guess, historic battles in the Imperium Freedom Guard War, and we must play them from both perspectives. So we have to play Freedom Guard and Imperium sides of each mission. It's the same map. We're just going to be taking, um, you know, uh, each side. So we're going to start with uh, Radon Alcine. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. Anyway. Let's do the Freedom Guard side first. We got build a training facility, assembly plant, destroy Imperium units, and save 8,000 credits. Um, so here we go. So I, I set the game speed a little high because I know these first few missions are more or less easy. Uh, we're going to build training facility, an assembly plant, and start cranking out military units. And um, so yeah, this game, let's see, this game was released uh, two years after the first Command and Conquer, I think, and then... Um, I think it was the year after StarCraft came out in 98, so that's where we're at. Th this game is more similar to, um, I would say it's more similar to, like, Total Annihilation, Earth 2140, um, I think it's, it's that type of space sci-fi RTS. So, I'm gonna start building some raiders, set their outpoint point up here, and I'll gather up there. And we also can build some spider bikes as well. Right, we're not going to need a whole lot for this. We're just going to need a few forces to help destroy the Imperium Guardians. And then before you know it, this is going to be over. Might as well destroy the water launch pads while we're at it. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Hello. We just gotta save 8,000 credits and we're almost there already. I think we're about to hit it uh, in one moment here. Which comes up, we destroy the water launch pad. Nice. And there we go. Over 8,000 credits. Okay. Your progress is reassuring. <laughs> um, Alright. Back to the main menu. And we're going to go back to mission one and do the uh, f Imperium side now. So we get to experience this from the Imperium perspective. Apparently in this version of, the, of history, they created a base in the north. And we're just going to make sure we... What do we have to do here? We have to build a training facility and lay enemy resource freighters and more launch pads. So just eliminate the Freedom Guard water resources. So you may have no the main resource in this game, I should have explained, is fresh water. Because um all of the surface water is poisoned. It's 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 unusable. So there's these fresh water springs, and that's the only source of fresh water there is, I guess. And so it's very valuable. So you can you have to collect it with these freighters. And then it gets sold off-world at the water launch pad for credits. And the credits you can use for building military and, you know, stuff. So, that's pretty much uh, how this works. I guess I should have built a turret or something. Build some turrets for defense, even though we're going to mainly, um, 
Yeah, you, you help collect water. It's best if I have two freighters collecting water. This other guy is just collecting tail on it for the power generator. Now the power generator basically, when you build a power generator, it operates at um, half output. So you can collect tail on to help uh, further increase the output of a single power generator. Right now we're doing just fine on power. So I'm not too worried about that. Wow, this guy just sits there like a dumbass. How about you actually fight? That would be a good idea, you know. <laughs> that would be a wonderful idea. All right, let's see. So we have to go ahead and find the um, Freedom Guard base, which I know is to the south. Okay, I'm just going to wait till I have a few more forces here. And set the output down here. Yep, hello. And whatever. Let's, uh, let's actually sneak around here. Let's go destroy their headquarters. Why not? That's fun. Kaboom. What else is going on? Hey! How dare you attack from an area that I did not have any defenses. You guys holding up okay down here? Nope, apparently you're not holding up okay at all. You're doing horribly. Go with these guys. Uh, sneak around the turret again. We have to take out these freighters. Like they said every single freighter needs to be destroyed, so we'll have to do that. Okay, I think there's also the water one still. Uh, or you know what? I think there's another freighter uh, over this way. something. There we go. Now, I haven't built any of these guys because these guys suck. They're scout runners. They have like, they're good for scouting. They're not good for combat. They're, uh, they're, they're really terrible dam damage wise. Yeah, we'll just kill these things. There we go. Okay. That was nice and easy. Alright. So, mission two. Poison Sky. Let's do the Freedom Guard half. Um, establish a base, start the Imperial Power Generator, steps a strike force. Okay, so basically establish a base and destroy the enemy base. Couldn't be easier. So yeah, in the future, the uh, episodes are going to be just me doing pretty much one mission at a time. Um, I'll try to do the Freedom Guard and the Imperium uh, side of the mission in one video. I uh, can't promise that's going to stay a thing, because these missions will get uh, ex exponentially difficult as we move along. So I don't, I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> it's probably not going to go well. I should just have, the, I sh you know what, I should have this guy collecting from over here. Uh, and then just build another water launch pad down here. here. You collect there. And... I'll put guys over here. We put a turret over here. In case we get attacked. Which I think we will be. Fire bikes, and now we have introduction to skirmish tanks, which are really awesome. Definitely want to build a lot of skirmish tanks. And I need power. So we gotta build another power plant. Because we have no tail on near us to increase this one's output. I'm just gonna build a few forces here. I'm gonna build one of these uh, rapid armor transports, which can transport infantry more rapidly than them just walking. Build a few skirmish tanks, and then we will have a, um, a decent size army in a moment here. I could even increase the game speed more probably if I wanted to. There we go. Okay, so each of these can hold five raiders. 
I'm gonna focus most of my effort on building uh, skirmish tanks because they are very effective in just about every circumstance. They have a turreted uh, weapon. Uh, so yeah. yeah, let's go up here. Let's uh, let's attack something, shall we? They, they got that under control, it's fine. I think the, um, let's see, I think the Imperium thing is up here. Power generator. Let's see. Yep, power generator's right here. Let's just attack this turret first. There we go. Make sure I'm building more stuff. Boy, those guys. I think they have a uh, water launch pad over here, if I remember correctly. Let's take out that turret. I'll probably have a shit ton of stuff back in the base to uh, send in for the killing blow. Bye bye, water launch pad. There's all my tanks. Let's go. And also uh, attack from the south. Charge. No match for my skirmish tanks. Yeah, this game's actually uh, free to download. Uh, there's been a lot of community support for it. Um, there's been um, community-made mods, and the game's been kept alive after all this time. There's been compatibility fixes and uh, patches. And you name it, they've, they've fixed it. All right. I think that should be the end of this, unless I'm missing a turret some- I think I am missing a turret, yep. Let's go get that. And then we're going to play the Imperium side of this mission. Alright, cool. Forge ahead. Alright, so back to mission two, let's do the Imperium side. You can tell which sides of each mission we can play by the fact that the logos have lit up. So, Poison Sky, Imperium side, let's go. Do that, and let's put this over here. So as you see, it's the exact same map. It's the exact same map as before. Um, we just have control of the other side now. All right. So we're gonna have to, the, let's see, the objectives here are we have to establish a base, construct f five plasma turrets, and destroy all freedom guard structures. So, let's get to it. I'm gonna have this guy help with the water collection, just like last time. Uh, I'm gonna build a turret over here. Maybe if I went up here as well. Wait for some more credits first. Um, come on, get that water. There we go. All right, build a turret. I don't know why that ground is uneven. That's kind of weird. And up here. All right, how about another one right here for some reason? I don't know. And build some stuff. I need another power generator, I guess. <laughs> Hmm, okay. You guys should be outputting down here. And again, this invader troop transport is just like that um, the one the Freedom Guard has. You can transport five infantry units. And we're gonna build some plasma tanks, which are more or less equivalent to um, skirmish tanks, although I don't know, not quite as powerful. I guess they got more armor, 
but less firepower. And they're also 100 credits more expensive than a scrimmage team. And this other freight is gonna, I think there's a water up here that we're going to steal from as well, which will increase our income dramatically. Let's go ahead and collect this water. <laughs> okay. It's gonna wait for us to build up our forces, and then we will attack. And I think I need to build one more um, plasma turret as per the requirements. So we'll just stick that over here. Even though I think we're gonna be just fine on defense. I don't foresee any problems. As a shortcut, you can select a building and press R to repair. Normally you'd have to click on the wrench up here and then just click on whatever building you want to repair. There are a lot of sh uh, keyboard shortcuts, as with any RTS game. Uh, there's plenty of other playthroughs that you can look up on YouTube. I don't know why you're watching mine, but uh, I appreciate that you are. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've never been very good at this game. I've just been a big fan of it. I've always loved it. So that's uh, pretty much the story there. Okay, I think we're just about ready to attack. I don't think they're going to have much opposition uh, for the most part. So let me just wait until I've got. Here, cancel that. Give me my last invader troop transport, and then we will get the heck out of here. And keep reducing tanks at it. While I'm at it, just keep making tanks. Okay, let's go. Charge. Yeah, I'll just stick him to the bottom. <laughs> just as I suspected. There we go, we're deploying all our forces. Kaboom! That's yep, trying to rebuild the... No, no rebuilding! <laughs> Not allowed. Bam. Cool. That's that. Nice and easy. Now, in future missions, it's not going to be this easy at all. As a fact, it's probably going to be really frustrating. Because I remember a few missions in this game which are like hell. Uh, but yeah. So that's it for now. I'm going to be doing the uh, the next one, Prison Break, uh, both sides of that, next time. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I'm excited that I'm back to doing Let's Plays. I don't know why I keep looking over here. There's like, there's nothing over here except my OBS. Like, why am I talking to OBS? That's weird. That's, I'm weird. Uh, anyways, until next time, this is CS signing out. See you next time.